Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Python programming. In this video we will be covering the topic of Python partial functions. Now partial functions allow us to fix a certain number of arguments for a function and generate a new function. Uh, the func tools or partial module helps us achieve this. Now let's say we want to create a function that explicitly performs exponentiation. So we can get squares, cubes and other power, power operations on any number. So let's look at an example. So we create this function called power where we have a base and an exponent. So what this does is it will basically print some number which is the base to the power of some exponent and the result which will be returned over here. So let's define, let's see now what if we want to create uh, a dedicated square and cube functions that leverages this. So we can define a square um, function called uh, with an argument called base where we return the power of the same base to the power of 2. So we basically we're doing for we're defining a square function um, with the help of this function that we defined already called power. Um, for cube we will basically do the same power function but the exponent will be 3. So now when we do square 10 we're going to say if we executed all of this. So now if we say square 10 uh, what this will do is it will say 10 to the power of 2 is 100 and um, if you see the next one cube 5 5 to the power of 3 should be 125 as you can see here. Now this works, but what if we want to create, um, say, 15 to 20 variations of our power functions? And what about, say, 1000s of them? Writing, a, defining a function for each case is obviously very repetitive, it's annoying. And uh, this is where we will find partial coming into play. So and as, a, as an example, let's do the same thing. Now what, what we're going to do is we're going to import partial from the module called functools. We have a, uh, what we're going to define is this function called square which is basically going to uh, use the partial functions uh, operation for the power function um, with the exponent of 2. So what we're doing is basically we're going to use the power, we're going to reference the power function that we defined earlier, but we're going to pass the uh, the argument for exponent as 2. And for cube, we're going to do the same thing, but exponent is 3. So once you've defined this, if we do square 2, you get the result as you can see. For cube 2, you get the result as you can see here. Let's look at another example. So we have this function uh, where we define some function with four arguments. Now what we're going to do is argument a, b, c and x, right? So we're going to return 1000 times a, 100 times plus 100 times b plus 10 times c plus x. Now we're going to create a partial function that calls this function, but it's going to use um, a as 3, b as 1 and c as 4, always, right? And um, so the, how we do that is basically g is equal to partial like this. So once we've executed these, now if we say g10, we basically get the value for a thousand times, well, thousand times three since a is three, plus hundred times b is one, so hundred times one, plus ten times, well, c is four, so ten times four, plus x. Now x we've passed as ten, so the result of all this will be 3150 as you can see here. Now let's look at a final example where I've defined some function called add. I have three arguments, a, b, and c. What I return from this add function is 100 times a plus 10 times b plus c. So let's create a partial, for using partial functions, where b and b is 1 and c is 2. So we have this fixed. Um, we can create a partial function called add part. So what this does is it takes the add function, it creates a partial function out of it using c is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. So now when I print add part 3, what happens here is uh, 3 gets passed in the form of a. So I get 3, three, three times 100 and since b is fixed as 1 and c is 2. So I get 3 times 100 plus uh, 1 times 10 plus 2. So it should give me 312. So when I execute this, uh, you can see this here. So yeah, this brief video was on uh, Python partial functions. I hope you learned something new uh, about this topic. And as always, like, sh share and subscribe to our channel. And uh, this helps us reach newer viewers. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.